Okay, so twice a day this happens. And this means Dottie wants to go for a walk. Okay, so meet Roger. Roger is our new member of the family. <laughs> a scarecrow competition. Oh God. Quite hard to get him all in. He's taller than expected. Say something, Roger. Let me out. Let me down. No, okay. Roger doesn't want to talk. Okay, so this is the way we've got to go at the moment. Not really sure what's happening, but... But this field, we used to walk in it for years and years and years. And somebody sold it and started putting up fences and then something went wrong with the sale, sale of it. And apparently uh, we can walk in it again, so... See by the trunk grass, everybody else is walking in it, so we're doing it too. Come on, Noddy. Go on. Good girl. Go on. I guess I'm going to have to cut a load of this out, but uh, this is an experiment, really, so we'll see. I'm a writer, Jim, not Casey Neistat. <laughs> Lottie! Good girl. That's a good girl. Just climbing over a tumble down wall. The remains of a little stream which I'm just going to have to jump over. There we go. Life in the old dog yet. This is my favourite oak tree. Each year I'm glad to see when the, the leaves come on because it must be very old, very gnarled. It's very beautiful and uh, I don't know how long it's been going. Some people say they last 300 years uh, 100 years growing, 100 years living and 100 years dying. I would guess this uh, old tree is maybe getting into its third phase of life. But uh, yeah, it's got a lot of dead branches in there but the new leaves seem to have come so uh, it gets kind of damaged every winter. But uh, it's hanging in there, thank goodness. Sitting here under my favourite old oak tree. Hopefully, I'm in the shot, but I'm using the proper, uh, the I guess you call it the rear facing camera, uh, which has got much better resolution and everything. Uh, I'm not sure how the sound's coming out today, but we'll give it a go. Um, I almost did that thing of starting a sentence with OK, so, you know, that <laughs> I don't think that works really. Does everybody say that kind of thing? Um, not sure I really understand vlogging. Um, that's why I'm doing it. I thought, I'm not sure I get this, so let's do it and we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'll be able to do it every day. Um, it's not so much the doing it, it's the, um, it's the editing. Editing videos is terribly time consuming if you want to do any kind of half decent job at it. Um, so what have I been... Oh, I started that with so... God. Next thing you know I'll be saying, yo YouTube, what's up? And things like that, which don't sound right in an English accent, so uh, we won't do that. Um, yeah, I'm here amongst all the wildlife and stuff. There's elderberries coming out over there. I've got blackberries coming out behind me. I've got a huge old oak tree up above me. So that's all pretty good. The sun's shining. And I've been busy today. Although it's a Saturday, I kind of write whenever I can, most days really. And I'm working on a non-fiction thing at the moment. I don't want this to be a promotional thing. I just, you know, that's my news. That's what I've been doing. Um, Apart from making Roger, which was kind of fun and kind of frustrating at the same time, our, our scarecrow for the village's <laughs> scarecrow competition. It's fairly bad, but I had kind of fun like beating his face out of an old aluminium style uh, wok lid, uh, which we couldn't think wanted to make a head. So I thought I'd go with a kind of um, Cyberman type vibe and beat it out of a, of a metal old lid. Um, not, not the latest wok lid, I have to say, it's a really old one that we had in the shed. So that's how we made Roger. 
and uh, he's you know currently attached to the house. Otherwise, there's many kind of writing, which was which was good and it's going well. Doing some dictation, some typing. It's it's a non-fiction book based on um, what I found from my own work and a lot of oh, it's Lottie Coffin. Because uh, she eats bits of dried grass and seeds and things in her mouth, kind of by accident usually. She's running about with lots of dry seeds at this time of year. Um, yeah, my non-fiction book is based on writing craft and a lot of the things that I talk about in writing talk podcasts. So that really uh, kind of helped me to crystallise lots of my ideas by trying to help other people and talking about it, uh, put it together in a book. Beautiful wild poppy going amongst the thistles. We'll try and get a little shot into if we can. It's really amazing, and you can actually see it from some distance away. It's the only, uh, we sort of. Ooh, oh, don't know if you caught that butterfly. There's a butterfly in the thistle. Just did a tortoise shell, I think. Okay, a lot is getting impatient. We'll move on. Okay, so here we are, we're back from the dog walk and the cup of herbal tea is already on the table and here I am back at my workspace where I do all my writing and we'll see how it goes. I'll try and cut all this together without making too much of a hash of it and uh, see how it goes. And that will probably be about it because these things aren't usually too long, are they? So here's a bit of a look at my dreadful workspace. <laughs> Uh, because it keeps every now and then I cl clear it out, get it all nice and tidy, and then I just um, I cluster it all up again. Too many things to do, too little time. So here we are. So I've got kind of screen there to separate off part of the room. We've got the good old PC with a couple of big monitors, my webcam, and so on. Up here we've got the uh, the microphone with its uh, stand and everything for podcasting. Um, and over here, there's something nice to look at. So here has a few minutes of Zen. There's my huge tropical fish tank, which shows a present uh, for my 50th birthday. Something I'd always wanted to do. So we went for it, and here we are, really nice big fish tank. And there, uh, we accidentally drowned the beetles whilst doing it. So that's if you wonder where the beetles have gone, they're actually at the back of my fish tank. But, uh, you know, I have, my fish have good taste.